Do you guys remember when it used to take hours to transfer movies or video games from your friend's hard drive to yours? Hard drives were the main way we used to store data on our computers, but it was slow for transferring and reading data. With the introduction of SSDs, the entire world of data storage and transfer changed. SSDs were five to 10 times quicker than hard disk drives. And if the insanely high speeds of SSDs weren't enough, NVMe was introduced. And now there's a new change happening to it. Hello everyone, it's Mike from Sabrent, and here on this channel we talk about tech and tech related videos. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you stay updated. NVMe is one of the fastest data transfer technologies out there and now NVMe 2.0 has just been introduced. In this video, I'm gonna tell you what you need to know about NVMe 1.0 and 2.0. NVMe is a host controller interface and storage protocol created to accelerate data transfer speeds between enterprise and client systems and storage devices over a computer's high-speed connection. Yes, I understand that there was a lot of terminologies to digest, but NVMe means a non-volatile memory express. Non-volatile memory is a type of computer memory that can retain stored information even after the power is removed. An NVMe interface has multiple buses of information transfer, while a SATA interface only has one. This means your data uses multiple roads essentially to travel down compared to just one road. So your data rates will increase tremendously. Now, of course, there are other factors that can affect speeds of an SSD, but let's keep it simple for this video. Now let's discuss NVMe 1.0 and then compare that to NVMe 2.0. If you've ever seen inside of a hard disk drive, then you would have noticed that this disk rotates and a needle that reads a position on the disk to retrieve data. This allows for only one piece of data to be obtained at the same time. Now, don't get me wrong, there are hard drives out there that use multiple uh, needles and multiple disks to achieve faster uh, data retrieval and writing speeds. However, this still doesn't compare to SSDs. SSDs have a bunch of chips that can retrieve the memory position when asked with no moving parts. This means that the limitation of one piece of data being able to be retrieved at a time does not exist. And with NVMe, this allows for several search operations to be performed in parallel with more buses. The official definition of NVMe describes it as an open collection of standards and information to fully expose the benefits of non-volatile memory in all types of computing environments from mobile to data center. NVMe is designed from the ground up to deliver high bandwidth and low latency storage access for current and future NVM technologies. NVMe technology is the leading interface for SSDs nowadays, with overall worldwide enterprise SSD capacity expected to grow at a 43% compound annual growth rate into 2024. In 2015, the NVMe Management Interface specification was created to define a command set and architecture for managing NVMe storage, making it possible to discover, monitor, configure, and update NVMe devices in multiple operating environments. Over the years between 2014 and 2019, many incremental updates to the 1.0 standard was introduced. This included things like live firmware updates, improved power management, new frameworks, a rebuild assistant, persistent event log, asymmetric namesake access, host memory buffer, and persistent memory region. The last update to 1.0 was 1.4b. In 2020, the NVMe zoned namespace command set specification was ratified. The, this specification enabled NVMe to isolate and evolve command sets for emerging technologies, including zoned namespaces, key value, and computational storage. In June of 2021, NVMe 2.0 was released. The specification was restructured to enable faster and easier development of NVMe and to support more diverse NVMe environments. This also encourages the development of independent command sets like zone namespace, ZNS, and key value while enabling support for various underlying transport protocols common to NVMe and NVMe over Fabrics technology. The NVMe 2.0 library specification consists of multiple documents, including the NVMe base specification, 
command set specification, transportation specifications, and NVMe management interface specifications. These new changes will facilitate the emerging NVMe device ecosystem, including enterprise and client solid state drives, or SSDs, removable cards, and compute accelerators, as well as hard disk drives. Let's take a deep dive into some of the key features of NVMe 2.0. The ZNS specification provides a zoned storage device interface that allows the SSD and host to collaborate on data placement. ZNS permits data to be aligned to the physical media of the SSD, improving overall device performance and cost while increasing media capacity that can be made available to the host. Next, the VK command set provides access to data on the NVMe SSD controller using a key rather than a block address. VK allows applications to directly communicate with the drive using key value pairs, avoiding the overhead of translation tables between keys and logical blocks. Namespace types provide a mechanism to allow an NVMe SSD controller to support the different command sets that are defined as part of the NVMe 2.0 release, as well as a path for future command sets. Then we have NVMe Endurance Group Management, which enables media to be configured in endurance groups, exposing granularity of access to SSDs and improving control. Then with multiple controller firmware updates, as part of NVMe 2.0, this defines behavior for firmware updates on complex systems with multiple controllers, and the shutdown enhancements enables shutdown control for enclosure management for simplified management for many drives at once. For Enterprise, the 32-64-bit CRC expands the protection information and data protection to 32 and 64-bit, allowing for new types of metadata use cases and for more robust data protection for large-scale storage systems. And then with Command Group Control, this prevents unintended changes after a system is provisioned and protects the system from unintentional or malicious changes. So this is a new new security feature, and this uses a new lockdown command. So this can be used to put a drive in a state where both ordinary read and writes are allowed with the drive, but various admin commands are locked out so that the drive's uh, other features cannot be reconfigured. The new system for handling multiple command sets now makes it possible for different namespaces behind the same controller to support different command sets, rather than requiring all namespaces to support all of the command sets that their parent controller supports. The new NVMe 2.0 specification maintains backwards compatibility with previous NVMe generations. And overall, even though NVMe 2.0 doesn't really do too much that will be relevant to consumer SSD, this is definitely more of a re form factor of the NVMe standard and restructured what is foundational and what is additional based on your use cases, whether you're a cloud, enterprise, client, or someone else. This means that for big sort of hyper data companies, you can use the parts that you need and forget about all the bits that you don't, making NVMe easier to work with. So yes, even though that in the consumer space for SSDs, NVMe 2.0 won't make a difference, but with everything else that you use your devices for that have normal NVMe SSDs will hopefully make a big difference. But anyway, that's it for today's video. I hope that you understood the differences between NVMe 1.0 and 2.0, and I know that there was a lot of information. Definitely NVMe 2.0 isn't for the consumers out there. It's definitely aimed towards sort of those uh, data companies and, and enterprises. But if you did find this video interesting, then please hit that like button and also hit that subscribe button and notification bell to watch more videos and content like this one. Anyway, look after yourselves and we'll see See you in the next video. Bye.